Inspired by the original book written by Frank Baum, The Wizard of Oz was released in 1939. The movie follows young Dorothy Gale on her Kansas farm with her dog Toto, just as a tornado strikes down. The house flies through the sky and lands on the ground. Dorothy wakes up and sees that she has been transported to Munchkinland, in the land of Oz, where she famously says, Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. But hold on, is there a deeper meaning to this iconic film? Let's back up and see how The Wizard of Oz relates to the populist era. Populism is defined as support for the concerns of ordinary people. First, we have Dorothy. She is the main character in the book and represents the common people in America. The common people did not realize it, but they carried the most power out of any group in the United States. Since there were so many common people and individually they had little power, they were easily controlled and could be manipulated in different ways, just how Dorothy was. However, once she realizes the power that she has to defeat the Wicked Witch and confront the Wizard of Oz, she gains confidence in herself to be able to go home. The first character that Dorothy meets on her travels to the Emerald City is the Scarecrow. The Scarecrow represents Western farmers who created the food for the country. They were considered to be unintelligent and insecure, but during Dorothy's travels he is one of the most resourceful problem solvers. Despite this, when he meets with the Wizard, he asks for a brain, so he can feel he is equal with everyone else intellectually. As Dorothy travels through the land of Oz to get to the Emerald City, she encounters the Tin Man. The Tin Man is made to represent the northern industrial worker. These workers work in terrible conditions and are dehumanized to the point where they feel like a machine. Due to these reasons, the Tin Man asks the wizard for a heart so he can be capable of love and feel like a person. After Dorothy encounters the Tin Man, she meets the Cowardly Lion. The Lion represents American politicians, such as William Jennings Bryan. These politicians were viewed as all talk and yet they still controlled the common people. This is why the Lion was considered cowardly and why he asked for courage when he meets the wizard. The Wizard of Oz represents the President of the United States. He lives in Emerald City, a very large and wealthy city. However, when Dorothy and her friends get to the city and meet the wizard, they realize that he is just an ordinary man disguised by special effects and a curtain. This goes to prove that the president is the same as any ordinary person if you take away his title. The Munchkins are the small people that Dorothy encounters when she wakes up in the land of Oz. Due to their low height, the Munchkins are seen as the child labor force in America. In the book, they work on the Lollipop Guild, which represents the factories that the children in America worked at. The Emerald City was the home of the Wizard of Oz and was considered the most important place in the land of Oz. The city represents Washington, D.C., which is home to the President of the United States. This is where the government is held and where important decisions for the country are made. Next to Silver Slippers. Yes, you heard this right, Silver Slippers. Those who have seen the movie may not know this, but Dorothy's slippers in the book were actually silver and not ruby. They were made silver to represent the silver money that was added into the United States economy. This was supposed to fix the economy in the United States, but eventually the problem was solved without the addition of silver. This is shown when Dorothy gets back to Kansas and no longer needs slippers. Similar to how the Silver Slippers represented silver being added to the U.S economy, the yellow brick road that leads through the Emerald City represents the existing gold currency in the economy. The amount of paper money that was in circulation depended on how much gold there was to back that money up. Just how the yellow brick road led to the Emerald City where the power was, the gold standard in the United States pointed to where the power was as well. And finally, the Wicked Witch of the West. The Wicked Witch of the West represents the Western farmers. The farmers are angry and frustrated because they have to deal with natives on their land and trying to get crops on that land that is very hard to get water to. This is shown when the witch takes control of the flying monkeys, the natives, and when the water is thrown on her when she goes away. This represents the problem of irrigation going away when water is taken west.